Good evening, peeps. It's me. Hey, Cindy. Ariel Grace. Hey, Chris. Um, and we're going to be talking about Archangels tonight. Yahoo! So, hey, Jacqueline. Hey. Um, so, we're going to be talking about Archangels tonight. It's going to be very fun for us. Um, and I've got seven of them here to talk about. So, we're going to roll with it. Hey, Rebecca. So, I'm going to do the announcements first. And then, um, and then we're going to roll on into um, doing our little Archangels. Now, I'm going to be talking about the Archangel. Gabriel, Michael, Uriel, Raphael, Jophiel, Chamuel, and Zadkiel. Those are the seven I'm going to be talking about tonight. Okay? All right. So, first the announcements. Um, we're going to be, let's see. Okay. So, for Theo, I'm not a psychic medium. I don't connect to dead people. I do not connect to your people that have passed on. That's not what my readings are about. So, hey, Amy, um, so if you want a reading from um, a psychic medium, check out my bro, Psychic Theo. You can check him out at PsychicTheo.com. Uh, he can assist you with closure, okay? Hey, Nancy, so he can assist you with closure that you want and desire when your loved ones pass. He's really good at that, okay? Psychic Theo. Com. <laughs> and for those of you who are looking for an astrology consult, check out Rockin' Reverend Rhonda, and you can check her out at karmiclaw.com. She just published her second book, so you might want to look at and, you know, see if you're curious about that, too. It's called As Above, So Below. All right? And that is Rockin' Reverend Rhonda and karmiclaw.com. I don't make decisions unless I consult with Rhonda first. So like big stuff, I sit with her and, you know, we discuss what, you know, what, who, what, when, where, and how. Mostly when. Because <laughs> she gives really good dates. All right. So um, one of my Christmas presents to you all is um, tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, Angels of Psychic Story is going to be free for Kindle format. So you can go to Amazon and look it up, Angels, A Psychic Story. And uh, if you don't have a Kindle, but you have a tablet, you can always download the Kindle app and read the book from the Kindle app, okay? There is also a book, it's also in book form as well. So you can check that out too. All right, so it'll be for free um, Monday and Tuesday this week. I'll I'll post and stuff, let you know. All right. Um, okay, so... Ah, yes. So, also, uh, for those of you that are looking for... Thanks, Rebecca. Um, also, for those of you looking for holiday presents, because that's what I call them, because that's the holidays. Everybody's holiday, I think, is in December. <laughs> um, I have jewelry up at arielgrace.net. It's called Treasures from the Earth and Sea. And you can check that out. Um, also, for those of you who haven't signed up for my newsletter, please do. You can sign up for my newsletter there. Uh, it goes out like the last Sunday of every month. And then I just kind of cover the whole month. I hardly ever send a second one out unless like it's something happens. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, Theo and I are going to be in Chicago in March. We're going to be doing Reiki 1 and Reiki 2. So for those of you who want to sign up for those classes, you're going to need to get the newsletter because all of the links are going to be on the newsletter. We're going to be pre-booking for readings and also um, for that class too. The class will be held in Niles, Illinois, and we'll be doing readings in Naperville. So it'll be very fun for us. <laughs> All you Chicago peeps and not up there in the north, we're going to be hugging and squeezing each other. It's going to be very fun, right? All right, so that's in March. We'll be doing that, okay? And so the next newsletter that for January, there's going to be some info about that so you can sign up for classes and stuff. Hi, Di. Okay, so 
Now we're gonna talk about archangels. All right, so the first thing I wanna say is this, is that a lot of people have romanticized the archangels. Why? Because, well, um, humans have made them look very handsome and, and chivalrous and looking like warriors and all that stuff. Um, so they're not romantic. <laughs> a lot of people give them human like that human element or that human feel, they're not human. You have to remember that they are not human. And so because they're not human, they're different from us, they're angels, and they have a focus. So each, each angel has a focus. That would include any angel hanging out as your team. They all have a certain focus. So I want you to remember that as you're studying about angels and that, for those of you who want to learn about the angels, um, The Keys of Enoch is a good book. It's kind of he of a heavy book, but it's a good book. Um, the Urantia book is also a heavy book, but there's a lot of really good information in there. Um, and then there's The Angel Bible, which is a much lighter book. And all three of these books you can find on Amazon. You can. Um, and then I... And then, as I said before, I wrote a book. It's called Angels, A Psychic Story. So those are about the angels that I know about. Okay. Hi, Erin. All right. So somebody asked me to, like, let you all know what the nine orders of the angels are. And basically, you know, it's a big hierarchy of angels. So the top of the list is the seraphim angels. Okay. Okay. And then we have the cherubim, the thrones, the dominions, the virtues, the powers, the principles, and then the archangels. So the archangels are the ones that really, um, their focus is earth, you know, humans. <laughs> and so they were created to assist us, all right? One of the things about angels is that, hey, Theo. So one of the things about angels is that you have to actually ask for help. Um, yeah, angels are with us all the time, but if you want their assistance, you have to actually ask them for assistance. You need to say, hey, need some help here. <laughs> and, um, and the help will come to you. Sometimes it's not immediate, you know, sometimes it's in ways that maybe you need to be a little bit more open to understand because, um, hey, Mary, uh, I have several friends who've asked the um who have asked angels you know hey you know i asked the angels if they would help guide me to blah 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 and it's like okay well what happened well you know and they would tell me this great story about how they got there or whatever and and like who they met and why and all this stuff and it's like hey you know well you asked your angels if you could meet somebody who does that <laughs> And you did. And then you asked your angels a way to get to there. And it happened. But it just doesn't happen sometimes the way you want it to happen. So sometimes we have to, and on our path, on our way to get to our destination, sometimes we have to do other things to get there. You know, we have to meet other people. We have to, like, maybe take get sidetracked, maybe come back around this way. So... One of the things that the angels do ask of us, earthlings, is that we're not so structured. That we're actually open to receive the information. <laughs> okay? Because sometimes it goes, oh, it's like weird. All right? So I asked for angel help to clear the ice on my sidewalk and driveway. And my five-year-old neighbor came over. Oh, cool. Yeah. I can't read the whole thing, Dive, but that sounds good to me. So your neighbor came over and tried to help you? That's awesome. But, you know, um, hey, Lisa. So, um, you know, angels help in different kind of weird ways. And, and sometimes there are ways that, like, you know, you might get pissed off. But that's okay, too. Sometimes you just got to blow off some steam. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about <laughs> these 
Uh, well, Aaron, you know what? You might need to just open up and just like maybe look different, look at different avenues in order to get to your destination or what you want. And perhaps maybe even looking at it and say, and, and really looking at it and saying, do I really want this or is it everybody else that wants me to have it? That might be it too. I don't know. I, I haven't talked to you in a long time. So, you know, let's go over the angels and we'll see what's going on. Hey, Dana. All right. So, um, the first archangel we are going to talk about is Michael. So, um, remember too that most angels are messengers. And so, they'll bring the messages to you in a way, um, maybe sometimes it's out of the ordinary. But they'll get it to you. Okay? All right. So, Michael is, um, his color is blue. And it's actually, his color is actually called the blue ray. All right. And so he's the archangel of, um, he's the archangel of protection, physical, and spiritual protection. All right. Um, his archaea is faith. And um, they are there, they assist with the protection of the planet and the protection of the individual. So how do they assist with the protection of the individual. Um, they're in charge of the guardian angels. So each one of us has a guardian angel. Each one of, so that guardian angel's whole purpose is to assist you with protecting you. Hey Haley, um, hey Darla. So when we talk about the Archangel Michael, we have to remember that um, he, he's head of the guardian angels. He's up there. He's not really much of a diplomat. No, he's pretty straightforward. And the guards are usually very straightforward as well. So they'll tell you, I'm here to protect you. And then what, one of the things that you can do for your guardian angel is you can open yourself up. Um, again, that scrying thing that we talk about where you go into the bathroom, you close the door a little bit, turn the light out. And you look into the mirror, looking at either your nose or your forehead. And you ask for your highest and greatest good to see your guardian angel. So the first thing that you may see are his wings. Or her wings. His, her. So the first thing you may see are the wings or you may see colors. And the color that you probably will see is blue. Now, not all guardian angels look like the fancy romantic guardian angels that we're used to seeing. Some guardian angels look different than that. They'll, they'll look like, you know, um, a Viking or they may look like a warrior of some type. So, because that's what they are, they're warriors. They're there to protect you. All right? Okay. So the Archangel Michael is, a head, is in charge of protection. He's in charge of the Earth's protection and your specific protection. And that's why you have a guard. Okay? Sometimes people have two guards. That's okay. Yeah, that's good. So um, the Guardian Angels or Archangel Michael um, can assist you also with keeping your energy field clear so that you're not always got the goo and cooties, all right? One of the things that you can do, like I do this in the shower, I invite and invoke Archangel Michael to cut and cauterize all cords leading in and out of me that are no longer serving me. So those energetic cords that are connected to you that drain you, I invite and I invoke Archangel Michael to come cut and cauterize all cords leading in and out of me that no longer serve me. I invite and invoke Archaea Faith to fill me with divine light to heal all of my hurts. Thank you. Always say thank you. <laughs> and do that every day. Like while you're taking the shower, while you're doing your toenails, whatever. And you may feel that swift feeling of the, the sword coming down and cutting and cauterizing those cords. Okay, so you want to keep your energy field clear. That way you stay clear and you can make good decisions, right? Okay, so um, 
he is, again, he's blue. And blue is the color of truth. All right. So, moving on. <laughs> Hi, Alexis. All right. So, um, yay, Darla. All right. So, the next archangel that we're going to talk about is one of my faves. Um, it's Joe Fiel. And it's spelled J-O-P-H-I-E-L. And, um, hey, Susan. And um, his Archaea's name is Christine. Okay? And they are uh, the yellow, yellow ray of illumination. All right. So, Jophiel, Archangel Jophiel, can assist those people, especially those peeps, um, out there that are studying or learning something because he's Archangel of Illumination. So he can help illuminate you. <laughs> so you may want to ask him for assistance if you are a student or if you're wanting wisdom or inspiration, knowledge, or clear seeing. He's actually a really cool Archangel to work with. He has a good sense of humor. Okay, so he and his angels help free us from anything that blocks us from oneness with our higher self. And so a lot of you have asked me, well, how can I connect to my higher self? Ask Archangel Jophiel to give you guidance on that and pray to him, ask him to take away anything that's blocking you from connecting to your higher self. Okay? Because he can. And it's yellow. So his color is yellow. So if that's what you're looking for, and, and I suggest this too. So if you're going to be working with any of the archangels, um, wear their color. So if you're looking for illumination, wear yellow. Even if it's just like a little yellow button or like yellow earrings or a yellow necklace, yellow shirt, whatever, you know, Wear the colors of them. Hey, Mary Jo. So try that out and see what happens with that because Jophiel and, and Christine also help on a world scale to expose wrongdoing in governments and corporations and help in fighting pollution and cleaning the planet. They dispel ignorance. So they assist with higher education. They assist with all... All education basically so if, if you're a teacher and you want better stuff for your school or your you know your county pray to Archangel Jophiel to assist with bringing in that money or the donations that you need in order to assist with um, in order to assist with dispelling ignorance because that's one thing that they do well and it's really cool how they do it, too. Um, if you read about the different things that are happening on the planet right now, some things are not happening the way we would normally, the way they're structured to happen, right? <laughs> things are happening in crazy right, ways. So um, for those of you who want to pray to assist the people in Mexico, for example, you would pray to the Archangel Michael to protect them to assist them in making wise decisions, you would actually ask for Archangel Jophiel and Archaea Christine's assistance so that they can go and assist them. Because remember, angels cannot help you unless you ask for it. The reason why is because this is a free will planet. Free will. <laughs> so, because it's a free will planet, they cannot intercede unless you ask. Okay? And you can invite and invoke them. You can ask them. You can pray for them. Pray to them. You can help ask them to assist you. And they will. It may not be exactly how you thought they would do it, but they do assist. So don't say no. Because remember the guy, I don't know, he was in Texas or something, and it was flooding, and... Um, Three times people tried to go help him. Three times. And he said no. Why did he say no? Because he was waiting for Jesus. 
well, who do you think those three people that came to help him were doing? Who do you think told them to go help him? <laughs> Jesus! So, how silly is that, right? Why didn't he just take the help? So remember, don't say no to any assistance that will come to you. And remember that people have free will, so they can back out at any time. All right? So don't be so disappointed if things don't work out the first time. Maybe you're supposed to try it a couple more times, too. Because maybe you're supposed to give somebody an opportunity so that they can expand as well. All right? All right, so don't say no. Say yes. Okay, so Archaea Charity and Archangel Chamiel. All right, so a lot of you are like, you want to find your honey bun. And that's good that you want to find your sweetheart, your loved one, your soulmate. Um, Archangel Chamiel and Archaea Charity are actually the best people or best angels to ask for assistance. Because they are part of the pink ray, the pink ray of love. Okay, so that's, it's the pink ray of spiritual love. So, <laughs> so with that being said, um, they are here to help you with relationship problems, resolving relationship problems, and maybe even ending some relationship problems. Okay? So, specifically with love, compassion, mercy, creativity, and forgiveness. So, Archangel Chamiel and Archaea Charity are great for all relationships. They can assist you with communicating with your loved ones here on planet Earth. And maybe even off planet Earth. So, um, with that being said, uh, they will... They can assist you, they can inspire you to do things, give you ideas to assist your relationships. If you follow through, cool. If you don't follow through, that's fine too. You know, it's up to you. They'll keep giving you ideas until an idea resonates with you so that you can fulfill that. And that's what angels do, they inspire you. So they'll inspire you to do something. If you don't wanna do that thing, um, They'll keep inspiring you until you get done whatever it is that you want done. And also, it has to be for your higher and better good. Right? So, what is for your higher and better good? Think about it. What is for your higher and better good? Do you need to, like, sell a house? Is it taking a long time to sell your house? Is there something going on with your house? Does your house need to be clear? Or maybe you need to meet some people before the house sells. Or maybe um, you're waiting for the person to recognize your house that's selling. You know, or maybe you need money. Hey, Suzanne, maybe you need money. And like your friend gives you a freezer and the freezer's worth $5,000. And you turn around and sell it, you're $5,000 richer and you can pay your bills or whatever. So... You know, there's all these different ways that things can happen to assist you. So make sure that you're open to receive the ideas and inspirations that come from the archangels. So, like, I get a lot of people asking me, well, I want to meet my soulmate or I want to meet my relationship person. Well, when I say, you know, go out and be social. Go out and shake hands and kiss babies, put those high heels, lipstick, bow ties, whatever the hell you have to do. To get out there and do your thing. Because a lot of times, your person probably isn't the postman, the FedEx guy, the UPS lady. You know, they're not those persons. A lot of times, they are out there. And the reason why you have to go out there and do it is because you need to learn how to have confidence or something. In order to get out there and meet, meet your loved one. You know, so there's things that you have to do. Cast in that net. And getting out there and doing your thing. And you may be even inspired to go do salsa dancing. Why would an angel tell you to learn how to go salsa dancing when you're looking for your loved one? Why would you be inspired to do that? Well, because maybe that loved one is there at the salsa dancing place waiting for you to be their partner. 
So see? So if you feel the need or the urge to go do something after you've asked for assistance, at least check it out, please. Because that's your angels going, hey, check this out. See what you think. Spread your wings. It'll be fun for you. Okay? Okay. So this is these are just because some people sometimes we get locked in. <laughs> and we're just like this. Okay, there it is. I gotta get there. But there's all these other little things that you have to do to get to that one place. Okay. All right, so our next angels are my absolute faves. Well, not absolute, but pretty damn close. Um, Archangel, Gabriel, and Archaea Hope. <laughs> so these two are like my buds. Um, they're the reason why every day is a good day. For me, anyway. So um, I'm grateful for them. And um, they are our messengers. So they're the ones that bring the messages to people. They're the ones that, that, and them and their angels bring messages back and forth between us and creator. So they're awesome. So their color is white. And it's a ray of purity, guidance, joy, and messages. All right. So um, Archangel Gabriel and Archaea Hope uh, assist with communication and clarifying communication. They assist with um, making sure that is that really truly what you want? Okay, you know, and they assist with that. Um, they bring messages from the Creator to you for inspiration and to assist you with your life being at a higher resonance. Okay? So that's what they do. Um, the Archaea Hope assists with children, small children, protecting small children. She also assists with um, bringing children um, forth. She's, uh, she's really good with autistic children. So those people that have autistic children um, ask the Archaea Hope for assistance because she can assist you with that. Um, so that, that's what they do. They're basically the messenger and they're in charge of all the messenger angels. So make sure if you have a message or if you want a message to ask for, invite and invoke the Archangel Gabriel and the Archaea Hope. Because Gabriel, you've seen him in the Bible, probably in the, I think he's in the Talmud. I think he's in a couple other different variations of the same story. And he's always the messenger. He's always the one that tells um, the person like, hey, this is what God said. There you go. <laughs> Got a choice. You can do it or not. <laughs> so that's what he does. And um, he does that for other people too. Like he does it for the rest of us as well. Okay. All right. So um, that is the Archangel Gabriel and the Archaea Hope. And their ray is the white ray of purity. All right. So now we're getting to the Archangel Raphael. And a lot of you, the healers, our healers, know about Archangel Raphael, right? He's rocking. He's awesome. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Eva. So the Archangel Raphael is the Archangel of healing. Okay. So you might have heard me say that his Archaea's name is Joy. Right? And you might have talked, we've, we've talked about Joy and we've talked about her connection to Mother Mary. Right? So, um, the Archangel Raphael and Archaea Joy assist with healing. And what does Mother, Mother Mary do? Totally. She heals. She's a healer. Right? She brings us in. She nurtures us. She loves us. She assists us with what we need. So, and I have a story about this too with Mother Mary, um, is when I was in Hawaii, I needed to fly out of Hawaii. And uh, my dad got me a ticket for myself and my sons, but then <laughs> there was a big strike and nobody was flying anywhere. So 
I did a novena. And uh, as soon as I finish praying the novena, like the end day, um, it was like 10 minutes later, Clinton said that they had to fly. And so I could leave. And, you know, I don't know how many other people were doing novenas, but I'll tell you what. I was so glad I did that novena <laughs> because it assisted me with leaving Hawaii, which I didn't really want to do, but it assisted me with ease and grace. Hey, Lynn. So, um, Archangel Raphael and Archaea Joy, you know, Mother Mary, they assist us with our healing practices. So for those of you who are interested in healing and are inspired to look for different modalities, because there's lots of different modalities that you could check out, and there's always free intros. So you can check out your free intros and see if you're interested in them. Look them up on the internet. You know, there's uh, there's so many different types of healing modalities that you may get overwhelmed, but then you also, you may be pointed in a direction that truly resonates with you. Okay. So, you know, there's homeopathy, um, there's naturopathy, there's oils, there's Reiki, there's quantum touch, there's cranial sacral work, there's um, bars, there's all different kinds. Um, that's that other one uh, that Ruby does. I can't remember what it's called, but she does that, you know. So there's all these different kinds of healing modalities and... If you're interested in healing, check them out and see which one that resonates with you. And if you need assistance with that, call upon the Archangel Raphael because he's more than willing to assist you, point you in the right direction. Hi, Kathy. So, um, okay, so their, their ray is green. Okay, so it's the green ray of healing. All right? And so, again, if you're interested in... And, you know, if you want to have them hanging out or have a conversation with them, wear green. You know, somewhere. <laughs> Put green on your altar. You know, use the colors so that they can, they know, or that energy comes and fills up so that you're working with that angel. All right? All right. So, um, they're... All about healing body, mind, spirit, soul, and all time and space for your higher and better good. So ask for that. Um, some people have, have asked me about the healing thing too. Um, I asked for Archangel Raphael to come and assist with healing of my husband that has cancer. Well, if your husband is in the hospital and he's receiving chemo, and he's receiving his medicine that he needs to receive, and he's going through the steps that he needs to go through to get well, the Archangel Raphael is helping him. Because all forms of healing come from the Creator. Everything comes from the Creator. Everything. All things. So it started. So any type of healing that you give to anyone, any person, it all came from Creator, Archangel Raphael, he's the, he's a healing angel. He inspires you to assist with however way it goes down. Okay? So sometimes things don't happen the way we think, but maybe the person that got cancer or maybe the person that got sick, maybe there's something that goes with that and they have a lesson to learn with it. And it's up to them to decide how they want to proceed with their healing. Hi, Amy. So... Remember, everything is individual, and it's about what we asked for before we came here on the planet, okay? So try not to judge, but instead work with, right? Okay. All right, so the next one, we're going to talk about um, Archangel Uriel. And Archaea Aurora Grace. And um, I always like get teary when I talk about these guys because they're like awesome. So um, 
The Archangel Uriel and the Archaic Race are the sixth ray. So their colors are purple, gold, with ruby flecks. Okay, so they have three colors in their ray. Their, um, their focus is ministration and service, divine justice, peace, and balance. Um, their symbol is the phoenix, the phoenix rising. And um, so if you're having issues with justice, you need to go to court, you need, you need justice, you need a balance to happen, um, call on the Archangel Uriel and he will assist you with balance. He also assists with karmic balancing. So you may want to talk to him about that as well. If you have to balance some karma and you're not sure how to do it, he can inspire you and assist you in that way as well. Um, the reason why I love these two so much, and I talk about this a lot, is ministration and service. Service to our, our fellows, our people. You know, uh, service is big. And if you can do any type of service um, for your community, you have time to do it, to assist, um, please do. I always ask people to please volunteer with things that they're interested in doing. Um, any kind of community service. That's what I call it, community service. Um, because sometimes, too, uh, what will keep you in a community is that you haven't done your service yet. <laughs> I knew this. I know this because it's happened to me. <laughs> but once you've done your service, you're out of that community. Lickety split. So, um, and I've been able to serve in many communities and do a lot of different work for our, the different communities that I've lived in. And it is so very fulfilling. It truly is. So if you can do any type of service, volunteer work, assisting others, please do assist them. Because you never know what could happen. And service always makes our hearts, you know, it does good things for our hearts. So reaching out to our fellow men and doing good for them. This is December. This is the time when everybody wants to do service. Everybody wants to like give to charities and stuff like that. So if we can bring that into all year long, that is so awesome. Okay, so if you're called to do service, if you're called to be a minister or ministry, go for it. Do it. Learn it. Rock through it. <laughs> because it's so awesome and it's so heartwarming and you never know you could change a person's whole life you can give them hope and hope is a huge thing hope can assist so many people so if you have an opportunity to serve your your fellow man please do and ask Archangel Uriel if you need help with that to point you in the direction that you need to go in because he can assist you with that. He truly can. And he can also assist you too with pointing you in the direction of balancing out that karmic debt that you may owe. And you may owe karmic debt to a community or a community within a community. So pay attention to where you're being pointed to. Do it with love. So you can rock on with your bad selves. All right? All right. So... His symbol is the phoenix rising, and so a lot of what he does is about rebirth. Every time we go through something, every time we go through and learn and grow, we're being rebirth. And so the Archangel Uriel assists with that. So allow him in, you know, invoke him and invoke grace, and they will assist you so much. Holy cow, will they? They're so awesome. So that's our, the Archangel Uriel and the Archaic Race. All right. So now we're at Zadkiel. And Zadkiel is very fun. <laughs> so, um, and his Archaea is Holy Amethyst. That's her name. And, and Zadkiel, Archangel Zadkiel. And they are the bringers of joy. So whenever Zadkiel's around, everybody is just freaking cracking up. 
They are. You're laughing for no apparent reason at all. You are laughing so hard. You're going to fall down on the floor, roll around, you know, because you can't stop laughing because it's so fun and it's so joyous. <laughs> and so he is the seventh ray. He is the violet ray or he assists with the violet flame. Okay. All right. So, and for those of you who do not know what the violet flame is, the violet flame purifies you. It purifies your auric field. So what you can do is like when you are in meditation, visualize a violet flame coming up from your feet and coming up and just enclosing your body in this violet flame. And you'll feel yourself transition or you'll feel yourself be lighter and brighter because the violet flame clears and purifies your auric field. And that's really awesome. It's an awesome thing. So try it. See how you feel. Try it for a week. That'll be fun. It will. So um, it is. it also assists with clearing karma. So for those of you who are um, interested in clearing out some of your karmic debt, um, there you go. Violet flame. Flame yourself up. People will be like, holy cow, you are like flaming today. <laughs> But try it because you never know what could happen and it's always good to release karma. It's always good to balance that karmic energy, you know, because karma is not good or bad. It's just karma. It's just the, ple the seeds that we planted, you know, and so sometimes, you know, some seeds, you know, that's a, it's a learning process. So we got to clear it out. That's it. Okay, so ask him if he can assist you with clearing your karmic debt. And he does help with um, diplomats. So he does assist with um, tolerance. You know, so he assists with um, helping our diplomats be more tolerant and helping them be more at ease. So we want our diplomats to be more at ease and we do want them to be more tolerant right? And these are diplomats of all kinds because we have all kinds of diplomats, not just like diplomats in the government. We have diplomats everywhere. And we do need that balance. You can do it for your pets. Yes, Di, you can, honey. Any of the angels will assist with your pets. They'll do what they can. The best one to call on for your pet is either the Archangel Raphael or the Archaic um, Ariel, A-R-I-E-L, okay? Because Ariel is, is um, she's like the nature angel. <laughs> and so she's all about the animals and nature and stuff, okay? Okay. Um, so they can assist with diplomatic problems or diplomatic balancing diplomatic stuff all right because archangel zadkel that's what he does he assists with lightening up the energy so that people can learn how to communicate he is, remember he is the violet ray okay all right so we want to make sure that um when we're calling upon the angels inviting and invoking them into our lives um, that we're open to receive their messages. Because like I said, sometimes their messages, you know, are, they're different. It's not like calling your friend and saying, hey, I've got this problem, blah, 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 blah. And they give you a straightforward message to go straightforward and do something. Sometimes it's roundabout through your answers. So be aware of that. You know, make time for it. So, um, and look into it too. Look into the other angels because there are so many archangels and there's so many angels that can assist you. You can um, look up the Angel Bible on Amazon and order that. It's a good book. It has a lot of good information in there. And I think it also has like invocations or prayers too. So remember that, okay? And like sometimes you can get like pictures of them or you can get the little medals, you know, and wear the medal. Um, remember that a lot of the archangels are also saints. So like Saint Michael, 
these are they're talking about the Archangel Michael okay Saint Gabriel Archangel Gabriel <laughs> so when you're looking at Saints and angels remember that all right usually it's because of an angel that they're a saint or because they're a saint they're an angel so make sure that you're looking in good directions and make sure that you're also remembering that everybody has free will okay so this is a free will planet and sometimes we start things and we get it going and people have choices where they want to hang in or they want to pull out it's really up to them right so we can't like hold tight onto a vision and be really structured be more flexible so that way you can move and not get like knocked out all right all right so that's our angel thing for tonight <laughs> um check out more archangels there's lots of information on the internet in books do your research figure it out all right find which ones that really truly resonate with you okay it'll be a fun journey for you oh well next week we're going to be talking about mother mary so mother mary is a favorite of mine um we're going to talk about her different aspects and how they assist us and um she's you know because like this is kind of like her month you know <laughs> it's december it's christmas so we get to talk about mother mary and she's awesome all right so if you have any any questions or anything like that, you can always email me at a gang of girls inc at gmail.com. You can check out the website at arielgrace.net and see what's there for you, what resonates with you. And remember, Angels of Psychic Story will be free for Kindle tomorrow and Tuesday. All right? All right. So everybody have a wonderful week, okay? Keep your hearts open and align with the energy of love. Good night.